Here, I, I was proud. I was able to go back. That's really game. good. I was getting bored. What is the plan this week? Are you going to practice all six days? Mon no, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday off, and then uh, Monday through Wednesday when we get down there. Similar model what we've used the last five years. Slight tweak here or there in practice, but the same number of days. Is Riley back practicing today? Practice a little bit today. Um, still, still not 100%, um, but today was the first day we've just been running and lifting for the past two weeks, and he did get some work, but I would consider it light at best if you were to describe it. Is Mike always surprised you? Mike came out and ran around a little bit today also. Again, he's been running and um, doing the conditioning the past two weeks, and he came out in his gear today. And, and so he's still a ways off, but it was good to see him run around a little bit. Any other guys you expect back in the offense? No, the, the, probably the biggest question mark listed is I think Jeff would advise me to say day to day would be great man. So he, he's the one that's furthest away or um, has the most uncertainty. Anything else? Um, can you just talk about the offensive line and how they're? Uh, will you have the? Uh, with Braden notwithstanding, we have pretty much an intact group. For yeah, um, obviously without Braden, but uh, Blair um, will step in in that, in that capacity. So there's not a significant change really in our team from the last three weeks ish, you know, um, I would say in the surrounding areas of the quarterback. You spent last week on the recruiting trail. How's that coming? That, is it about wrapped up? Or where do you stand it, there? No, it's really good. Um, uh, a bunch, a bunch of. Um, Really positive things happened for us last week, and I'm really optimistic where we currently sit. A few junior college um, uh, players of emphasis still to kind of close out on, I would say, and that's then we're about done. Are you still looking at defensive line? Is that the we're, we're looking basically um, in terms of needs left without getting specific. Uh, our line positions through junior colleges is kind of where the focus really is. Do you know how many scholarships you have in there? changes a little bit based on um, current plans of our players, missions returning, based on timing here or there, transfer, so rather not say specifically, but O-line and E-line JC-wise is probably specific enough. How much do you use bulls and the success you've had as a selling point of group? Uh, uh, it's always addressed um, just because we've, we've never not gone, and so when players consider coming to BYU, it's they're going to play an extra game. That's the beginning. The, the next part becomes how well we play in those, and it matters to me to play well, and it matters to me to finish the season on a high note. It matters for our seniors and providing that experience, and, and um, I just like the feeling a lot better. Than that. And, um, that a great experience at the game. Does the bowl itself matter to the kids? Which game? Yeah, like where you're going, whether it's Vegas or where. You know, um, I, I used to think so. I think now it's more the opponent they play. Um, and then as they get into this week, once they get there, I think they're just happy to be wherever they are. And, and so I, I haven't noticed much different reaction of the different games we've been to. Um, they just like going to play one more time. So you have San Francisco left on the mm -hmm. contract, and then going forward, what would be your preferences then? You know, I don't have really ideal preferences. Um, I know that uh, three years ago and even last year, there are conference um, goals that were when contracts were ending, they'd already contact us saying that they would have a sincere interest because of not only they can expect us to be there, but we travel so well. And so um, it'll be interesting to see how that comes, but that we've kind of been reached out to um, over the last couple of years pretty heavily. It'll be interesting to see if, they, if that follows through and we might end up. Do you like the rotation thing that you've got going? Yeah, I, I do. Just uh, It's just different experiences and easy for... Uh, players, coaches, fans to get entitled when you go to the same game a number of times. I think formerly BYU saw it in the Holiday Bowl. We saw it for however many years we went to the Vegas Bowl. Sometimes it's nice to have a change, uh, but th I think that's more important to maybe the outside perspective and the inside. After the New Mexico State game, you said at first blush that Riley would be the starter. Are you going into preparation this week with that still in mind? Or uh, it's it's hard to at this point because he's not healthy and taking all the reps. So. At this point, we have to plan on um, James working and going forward and then just wait to see where Riley catches up. We've got time, um, but J uh, Riley's not healthy enough right now to, to be considered as, as the starter yet. You were down in San Diego last week with the point center stuff, and someone had asked you about the Colorado thing. You yeah. said you really had no idea. And last year, you said you were off the job. Yeah. Uh, do you interview or do you interview? 
retain offers? How's that work? So um, a, a year ago, um, it, it was very specific, and there was a sincere interest, and I did, inter did interview. And, and then in this particular case, when when I was asked, there there wasn't really anything I knew about. Um, there became interest after I was asked, um, after Cincinnati's coach then decided to do something else. Um, but again, things, they happen so quickly and et cetera. But, um, there was no interview. Uh, there was interest expressed, but there was no interview. And, so yeah. So are you open or are you taking on a selective basis? Oh, I would say it's definitely so selective would be too mild of a word. Um, I'm really happy here. Thanks. Okay, thanks.